yeah, marked with a lid. So I will trim the mark first. general trimming for outer part and also the foot uh, I'm using my number two trimming tool that is a little bit uh, thicker and uh, this part is shorter so uh, you don't get unwanted uh, chatter and uh, while I'm cutting uh, usually I hold my um, tool a little bit closer to the end so that uh, the, the tool doesn't vibrate and uh, try to use the corner the corner of the tool to, uh, to cut it I'm trimming, you can see that uh, I always brace my tool. First, I hold it very steady and I brace my tool using my thumb to stabilize my tool. Roughly trim the foot that uh, decide the uh, width of the foot. Roughly, I will do the final uh, adjustment, and then um, so I'll make a foot right here using the corner of my tool to make a mark. So I uh, roughly that uh, my foot ring will be like this. Here and then I remove the clay in the middle. It's about uh, right the thickness when it's thinner the pitch sounds higher. Uh, if you have the uh, my measure tool, measuring tool, uh, you could use that, that so that you get it more accurate. But now I don't need to depend on that uh, for my more than uh, 37, 38 years of experience by knocking, I know that when to stop. Side, it's about right and then uh, I will compare the uh, inside corner and the outside corner so that uh, there should be, uh, should be about the same height so I know my outside is a little bit higher so I will cut down a little bit more here so the uh, outer part and the inside part of the corner 
be the same height. So to level my foot and this part here, sometimes it's, it's not level. So uh, I will just spin my wheel very fast and hold my tool very steady. Uh, you can level it. And then there's a little curve here that uh, this is my number five. There's a little curve trimming tool that I will use that to take care of that a little curve. I tend to lift my foot a little bit taller, this part here, so when I'm grazing, I have more room to, uh, to grab it on. It's easier for me to graze. This is the uh, mark that uh, I trim and uh, later I will add a handle to it. I told you that I make my lid upside down, so I'm gonna trim the nub. I told you that I leave a, a quite a bit of a clay here, so uh, this part here, I have more room to trim my nub.
होते हैं So cut to the rough uh, size of my nut and then um, I have a special tool for making the nut easier, trimming easier. This is my number three trimming tool. You see that there is a little curve here so it's very easy to go underneath um, on the cut. So this part would be uh, better okay, to go underneath to, to take care of that, that little uh, indentation there so it's easier for finger to uh, grip it on The uh, very final step, uh, I like to put the uh, cheddar mount here. So this time I'm going to just use the number three to make the cheddar mount.
So that's the lid with the uh, cheddar mug. And uh, I like to have my finger to go there and hold it easier to uh, lift it up. Okay, I don't want a nut too small or too straight so that the finger can go and fit underneath. So that's the uh, mug with the lid. And uh, let me attach the uh, handle. For attaching the handle, I uh, usually before I trim, I make the handle. I pull the handle and then let it hang on the side of my wheel before I trim it. So now you can see that the handle has been hanging there for uh, more than an hour. So now it's uh, still flexible, but all the water is vapor out so that's the right stage a good time to attach the handle um, before i attach to it um, i usually like to use my a fingernail or you can use the uh, the knife to uh, score it but uh, I like to use my fingernail to kind of uh, tap it so a nail to tap it so it opened up a little bit so let me show you what that looks like from this point so that I have a little bit extra clay there, so when, after I join, I can use that uh, clay to uh, to smooth it out. I put a little slip here um, by the joint. Slip here too. Right, so the important part for attaching the handle is that uh, you, you have to put a hand behind it to support it and then uh, you squeeze the handle okay. so apply a little bit pressure okay squeeze it squeeze it and this part is the squeezing is very important because uh, when you are joined two uh, pieces of clay together uh, you have to uh, apply pressure Okay, so squeeze it, right, okay, and maybe hold it there for like 30 seconds, so uh, even out, uh, this might be uh, dry and this might be still a little bit wet, so uh, help it to uh, draw some water so the uh, dryness is more uh, the same, the handle and the body, okay. Um, just let it hang down naturally. Okay, so that's good size. Usually you want to have at least two fingers to go through easily. All right, and brush a little bit of slip there where I'm going to join it. And my up. Okay. A little pressure here. And uh, you can use uh, the, the uh, needle tool to cut the uh, extra clay off. Just cut it off. Um, before I uh, compress it firmly, okay, there's uh, one other that, uh, tip for you. I usually make a drip of water right by the joint okay, just get a brush and then just add a little bit of water there before i compress it right so now i'm ready to compress make sure that i have a finger right there inside to support it while i'm compressing
okay so that's how I joined um, you can check the uh, the shape of the handle uh, you can bend it because I, I show you that, that the handle is still flexible so you can adjust to the curve that you like And uh, I will just let it uh, sit for a while and then uh, come back and use a needle to just smooth out, okay, smooth out. But now uh, this is still, uh, the clear still soft there. So I will just let it sit for a couple minutes and come back and smooth it out. And uh, after that, this is the, uh, the mark with the lid. So. Okay, thanks for watching.